माय सेल्फ मिसेस गौरी चेतन देश पांडे टुडे आई एम डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन रिट्रीवल सो बिफोर स्टार्ट विद द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिट्रीवल फर्स्ट विल सी द सर्च वो यू मीन बाय द सर्च एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सर्च सर्च इज नथिंग बट टू फाइंड आउट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट रिसोर्सेज सो हियर देर आर सम टाइप्स ऑफ सर्चेस first one is here vertical search so vertical search means what uh, if we want to find out uh, some uh, restricted uh, keyword or if we want to find out the some specific phrases then we can use the vertical search second one is here enterprise search so enterprise search means uh, there are lots of computer or there are many servers and from that computer or from that server if we want to search a particular data then we can use the enterprise search then third one is here desktop search so what do you mean by the desktop search this is your normal pc or your normal desktop pc so from that I, if we want to find out the data from the c drive or d drive or any drive or from any folder or files then that kind of search is nothing but the desktop search now next search is here peer to peer search so peer to peer search means what if we want to find out the data from the network or if we want to find out the uh, data from the uh, different uh, centralized control then we can use here peer to peer search so peer to peer search means what peer is nothing but uh, it is just act as a client and it is act as a server so there is no need of the centralized control because peer to peer is only the its own centralized control so there is a no need of any kind of centralized control so this is the main advantage of your peer to peer search next one is here ad hoc search so ad hoc search means what this is the advanced version of search so here we can find out uh, the data with the help of some modern techniques like a uh, filtering technique like a uh, classification technique or like a uh, question answering technique so these are the types of search and using that search we can generate our ir that is nothing but your information retrieval so let's see about what do you mean by the information retrieval so information retrieval means what it is a one kind of activity or it is a one kind of actions and from that action or from that activity we can gain some data we can gain or we can retrieve the data from the different resources and we can get here unstructured data means here we can get the data from the excel we can get the data from the powerpoint we can uh, access the data from the uh, different storage area so this is the main advantage of your information retrieval we can retrieve the any kind of data not only the structured data but we can access the unstructured data then uh, nowadays this information retrieval becomes so uh, dominant dominant means what student can access their own data then teachers can access their own data or they can access the other data also so nowadays your ir becomes a more dominant anyone can use uh, this ir so best example of ir is a search engine next one is here what is the main advantage of your ir the ir uh, with the help of ir we can represent the data we can store the data or we can organize the data and we can use that ir in your business in your commercial application if we want to store the data in your commercial application storage then we can use your ir so nowadays uh, what are the best example of ir like your uh, social media then your search engine like google search engine yahoo search engine then your twitter then whatsapp these are the best example of your ir now let's see about uh, what is the difference between information retrieval and the data retrieval now what do you mean by the information information means uh, your the sequence of your data and data means what that is a raw fact so what is the basic difference between ir and dr ir means what it deals with a particular organization suppose there is one company and they want to store their own data uh, in a internet format or on your internet format then we can use here ir system and dr means what if we want to find the data from sql or the oracle or any uh, other databases then we can use the your dr then second difference is here 
in ir we can retrieve the information about the subject means if you want to find out the information about the fan or tube or any sports person easily we can gain gain that data but in dr if you want to find out the uh, data from your database then we can use only the keywords so ir is the subject related and dr is only the keyword related third difference is here in ir small errors are likely to go unnoticed okay and in dr there is uh, if we can't get a particular word or the specific word then we'll get the error next difference is ir is not a structure means that contain the two type of data structure and unstructured but your dr is a structure data then uh, next difference is ir does not provide solution to the user means uh, there is no guarantee if any user want to search their data so we can't get the data at some particular time or the specific time but dr if you are providing a specific or the correct keyword then there is the guarantee to retrieve the data next one is here we can get the approximate data in ir and in dr Uh, the result obtained are exact matches if your data is exact matches with your database then we'll get that data next difference is here result are ordered by the relevance M means we can get here relevant data and here in data retrieval result are unordered by the relevance and last difference is it is a probabilistic model and uh, data retrieval is a deterministic model so these are the differences between ir and the dr now move to the next topic what are the components of the ir if you want to build my own ir system then what are the different components so basically there are two main component first one is here we need the system and we need the user so uh, if we want to create my own system then we have to define some uh, processes so our first process is acquisition second one is representation and third one is your file organization so these are the three important uh, process of your system and second component is user so let's see uh, system and the user so first process of system is the acquisition so what do you mean by the acquisition acquisition means what suppose there are a number of resources and from that resources we can collect the data means if we uh, if we want to build my own search engine then we have to refer the number of sources and from that sources if we want to select a particular data uh, like your text based file or audio file or the video file then we can use that process that is a acquisition and next one is your representation a representation means what how to store your data or how to store uh, your textual data in a vocabulary format so these are the two important concept of the system and system is a major component of ir thank you